Hey, William here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Facebook unpublished posts or dark posts as they're sometimes referred to. The reason we want to do create an unpublished post is because we're going to be testing multiple creatives in our, in each ad set. And we don't want to be posting multiple posts on our fan page because it looks, it's kind of spammy. So to get around that, we're going to create the unpublished post. And we do that. So here we are in ads manager. We're going to click on these three little lines right up here. And here under create and manage, you see the third one down is page posts. Click that and you'll come to the page post manager. And these are all the posts that are on my page. So what we're going to do here, you see it says ads posts. Th these are the unpublished posts for Facebook. If you go to publish post, these are the ones that are all public on your page. So we're going to go back to add post. So it doesn't matter. You can do it from either place, but we're going to use this button here, create post. I'm going to click that and we're going to create our first post. And I've already used, created an image to use. So I'm going to upload an image. I found this product earlier. This looks like a very interesting product. Use that one. And we're going to use the same ad copy on each one of these for this for the exact same product. So I don't have anything already written up, so I'll type something up real quick. Uh, when we're writing the ad copy, you know, always thinking about the empathy map, you know, why, you know, looking at this product, thinking about this product, why would someone buy this product or, you know, what kind of problem was, does this product solve? And this, I know you didn't see the image, but this is a, a little charger that you crank that can charge your, your cell phone, actually anything with a USB device, but it's very handy if you're out and you want to charge your cell phone. So we're going to say, um, we will just say tired of having your phone go dead or far away from any problem. I probably could make this much simpler. I usually like overdo it in the beginning, then I have to go back and, you know, simplify it. This is what we're going to put, you know, something like this, just to, just as an example. And then of course, we're going to put the, the link. So the whatever link, I'm just going to do like this, uh, google.com, just, just for the example. You know, when we're doing the Facebook ads, we don't even have to put the HTTPS. So I like to use emojis. So I'm just going to click here in the front of this. Emojis, it's going to actually mess all that up. But let's go down to usually use an arrow or a check mark, something like that down here at the bottom. So we'll just like point this there. And remember to always put a space between the emoji and the link where it won't work. Do that. And we're gonna use the same ad copy on on each on each uh, post that we create. So we're gonna put something down here. I like to, if I have an offer for the product, I like to put the offer down here. Or if there's another benefit of the product, I put that down, down below. Just get yours now. You just put anything, anything that you want. But we're going to use the same. This is just an example. Copy this, and we're going to create the post. Yep, and you can see there's a post created. Now we're going to do another one. This time we're going to do a video. I created this video ahead of time. It's right here. It's uploading, it'll take a minute. I'll pause the video while that's loading. Okay, it's done. We're gonna select this video, continue. There it is. You can change the thumbnail. 
And if you're going to do multiples of these, I only put one image in this in this video, so we can't really change them for this one. Actually, we'll probably get the last screen, but we'll just use that. That'll be the, the thumbnail. So if you're using, you can use the same video twice and just use a different thumbnail. And we, we'll probably do that. So we're going to create this post. So now we'll have two posts for one product. One is an image, one is a video. And I always like to, to, to use three. So I'm going to do one more. Since that one's already, I don't want to do that again. So I'm just going to choose this one again and just use a different thumbnail. There we go. Just to make, just show you that it's different. Normally I would have multiple images in the video. So I would choose a different, different image. Okay, now we have three, and that's what we're going to use in the ad set. So in the next video, I'll show you how to add the three ads in one ad set.